The Adventures of Mimi the Artist, Part 1. Mimi's New Friends, How It All Began. Written and illustrated by Lynn Melchiori. What a great day it is, said Mimi. Mimi is an artist. She likes to draw and to knit. She likes playing with clay. Mimi loves being an artist. Mimi decided to take a walk. Clouds were in the sky. I wish I had not lost my umbrella, thought Mimi. Near the river, she heard a little tune. Mimi peeked between the branches of a bush and saw a little brown bear. Hi, said Mimi, what are you doing? I am meeting little berries that are blue, replied the little brown bear. Oh, you mean blueberries, said Mimi. All I know is that they are yummy and my favorite color. Blue, said little brown bear. Mimi and the little brown bear ate a bunch of yummy little brown berries that were colored blue. We could wash off the blueberry juice in the river, suggested Mimi. As they walked to the river, Mimi noticed the clouds up in the sky. They were moving very quickly and the wind was getting stronger. I think it will rain soon, said Mimi to the little brown bear. Rain? I like rain, replied the little brown bear. When it rains, I snuggle underneath some branches to keep dry and I take a little nap. Finally, they were at the river, washing off the blueberry juice. What is that over there, asked Mimi. Over where, replied the little brown bear. In the middle of the river, answered Mimi. It looks like a little boat. I think it looks like an upside down umbrella, said the little brown bear. There is a little yellow kitten inside the umbrella, a uh, boat and she looks scared. Don't worry, little kitty, shouted Mimi. We will save you. We need a plan, stated Mimi. They both knew that it would not be safe for them to swim out to the umbrella boat. Let's find something for Kitty to grab onto. We can pull her back to shore with it, said the little brown bear. Here, I think I found a branch that will be long enough to reach the kitty, shouted Mimi. Kitty, shouted Mimi, look what we found, a long branch. We will push it over to you. Try to grab onto it when it gets close. The little kitty was too scared to listen and just kept weeping. We need to do something to help take Kitty's mind off of her trouble, said Mimi. I know, whispered Mimi to the little brown bear. Start twirling around in a circle and hum that cute little tune you were humming this morning. Mimi hoped the kitty would be happier if she saw the little brown bear twirling and humming. The kitty started to watch the little brown bear. She soon stopped crying. We will help you now, little kitty, shouted Mimi. Mimi and the little brown bear slowly pushed the branch over to Kitty's umbrella boat. Put your little paws onto the branch, yelled Mimi. Slowly they pulled her pulled in the branch. You're doing a great job, Kitty, Mimi shouted. The little kitty smiled, a tiny little smile. She was shaking from fright. Finally, the kitty was safe. Thank you, thank you, thank you, said the little kitty. You saved me. Would you like to have a few juicy, yummy berries that are blue offered the little brown bear? Thank you, replied the little kitty, and I'm sure would like to learn how to do that silly dance and hum the happy little tune of yours, replied the kitty. They all started to dance. As Mimi was twirling around, a big drop of water plopped onto her cheek. It was starting to rain. We can use my boat, oh, I mean, my umbrella, cried out the little kitty. Thank you, kitty, replied Mimi. 
Kitty's umbrella was covered with mud and had little rips in the fabric. Ugh, blurted a little brown bear as a big clump of mud fell out of the umbrella and landed, landed on top of his head. Look, my name is on the handle, said Mimi. This is my umbrella. It is the one I lost. Kitty, how did you find my umbrella, asked Mimi. While I was sitting on the bridge, a big wind pushed me off, recounted Kitty. I, land I landed in the umbrella, which was floating past just at the right time. By the way, what is your name, asked Mimi. My name is Butters, answered Kitty. What is your name, asked Butters. My name is Mimi the artist, replied Mimi. Turning to Little Brown Bear, Mimi asked him too. My name is Little Brown Bear, replied the Little Brown Bear. Mimi and Butters both started to laugh. Mimi felt very happy to have two new friends. As the three new friends joined hands, and walked happily down the forest path, each knowing that whatever new adventures lay ahead, they would always have each other. The end. Now, if you're interested in this book, there's two others that, notice, because this is part one, there's two others that finish the story and you meet other friends that Mimi makes. Plus, if you go to amazon.com or barnesandnoble.com, you can buy it and this one. They come separately. This this one is a coloring book and it has exactly the same pages, the pictures as you saw in the colorful one. But this one you can buy and color in just like Mimi the artist does. You can use Crayola crayons like I use and have a lot of fun. So go to MimiTheArtist.com and you can find out more about the books and there's games on the site and a whole bunch of other things. Please hit su subscribe. You will see more things that Mimi has. I have many, many videos online. Have a great day. Bye.